<laughs> Fuck. What's Geechee, y'all? Israel Judah, a.k.a. Sauce One. Today is February 9th. By the time you'll be seeing this video, it'll be February 10th. The reason why I'm making this video series is to encompass the next 60 days as it pans out. I recently purchased a book about business and there's a program within it, 60 day program, which are accompanied by individual videos for each lesson. Man, honestly, uh, I'm trying to just be candid. I, I just, I don't really know. I'm just trying to keep talking, and then hopefully I get comfortable to a point where I can just spill things as they come to me. Because I, I feel like I'm like, I got this camera shy shit going on. So, essentially, I got this book. There's a 60-day program within it, and it each lesson has a uh, accompanying video for it and it's a book on business that's so duh it's a fucking business book you already said that ah uh, shit why are you making this video there's a little backstory on how this came about. So I'm up gaming the night of February 8th into February 9th, midnight. And I'm gaming till about two o'clock. And then I decide I'm gonna try and get some rest for the next day. Cause I, I've been always wanting just to wake up and do better, be better than I was the day before. And I've been struggling with that. I feel like in my past, I've been a chronic procrastinator. I often push things to the last minute and then force myself to perform in crunch time. And for the most part, I do really well. However, I don't like that procrastinating mentality. I don't like to be prolonging things when I could be on my shit. I could be on the ball rolling and, and making multiple moves continuously, consistently. And that's another thing, my videos have been very non-consistent, if not non-existent. I tried to go to sleep, I had no success. It was very uncomfortable. No. Ultimately, I, I just had trouble going to sleep, uh, plain and simple. And when I can't sleep, I'm sure it's like this for most of y'all, my mind is constantly racing. I'm always thinking about what I could be doing, what I could have done better for that day or the time period that I'm per se wasting, in my opinion. And and this it just it does not sit well with me. It really irks my fucking nerves, to be honest with you. And that's one of the issues I have with myself. So essentially, this is a, a the the first day entry into what will be a 60 day entry video series that essentially encompasses this path while I'm reading this book and then also a lot of things that have been building up to where I'm at now and I'm just quite done with myself and my excuses, my reasoning, whatever I rationalize in my own head for how I'm still okay regardless of you know shortcomings in my opinion. Those things they, you know, they eat at me and I, I have long since wanted to correct those things about myself. Essentially, these videos are just going to be an accountability meter for me. Something to show myself that I can go above and beyond what I believe I'm capable of, but most importantly, what I've already been doing. The amount, the quantity of work that I've been doing over the last couple years. I'm coming into my third year as a full-time artist. All praise to the Most High for allowing me to do that. I genuinely appreciate the, the opportunities I've been given and the position that I'm in currently. It's it's really fucking dope to be able to you know paint pictures and, and live on your own schedule, but I, I gotta get a real schedule, and if not a schedule, a real life routine. And I already have that planned out for myself. I'm not going to get into all that. But when it when it comes down to brass tacks, I just want to 
have some accountability for myself and build some type of consistency, some type of routine where I'm filming midday and then later in the day to finish up my video and then post that video. You know, it's it doesn't have to be a fucking great work of art, uh, a masterpiece. It just has to be something. And, you know, I, I assume over the course of these 60 days, I'm going to get better at editing my formula for creating these videos will you know get down to a uh, science if you will and i'll you know numero uno the consistency holding myself accountable for producing a video within 24 hours every single day and the way we, how y'all see them is you know you'll see it on the following day um uh, it makes no point to post at night uh, i don't know you you can call it a vlog, um, you know. My whole channel is actually dedicated and made for a two-person audience. And those are my two daughters. And, you know, to accompany all the things that I've said, I want to improve upon myself. I don't really put my business out there like that. But, you know, I, I want to be more consistent with my child support payments. Um, I have two daughters. They, I have two daughters that I haven't seen or spoke to in four years and in a short time it'll be five years and that's why I make these videos is more or less a video journal or just some type of tangible evidence something visually because this is you know a visual society as is you know content is king at the moment and my daughter's being so young and not understanding the dynamic of what's going on and why things are going on, I just wanted to have something. In the event of my untimely demise, my daughters can go back and, and have something that they could see and, and more or less formulate their own opinion of who I am or who I was. Um, again, this, this is in the event of my untimely demise and you know, I, I love my children dearly. I really do. The person I become is because of them. And, you know, to not be able to be around them, to see them, to help teach them the things that I've learned. And I don't want them to have to learn the hard way. Granted, you know, life's the, your best teacher. Always has been, always will be. But I, I truly feel that I had a, or no, I have a set of, skills, knowledge, and resources that I can share to my children that will truly benefit them. And the fact that I don't get to have any type of communication with them, it, you know, it fucking kills me. Like, I, I'm surprised at this point I haven't done something drastic or just spazzed the fuck out because it, it's, it's trouble, you know? Most parents can agree with me, you know? They don't like being away from their children. And the person I am today is not whom I would have been without having children at the time and not pursuing to be the best person I could be for them. And that's where, you know, it really troubles me the most. However, I know what I need to do and I'm going to do that. So that's, you know, neither here nor there. It was just something I wanted to address coming into this video series so that, you know, for each episode, each installment afterwards, you know exactly what's coming for. And, you know, despite my videos only being made for a two person audience, I know people still kind of enjoy my content, uh, wh whatever it may be, you know, for why ever they're for why ever that is not proper English for whatever reason, they're interested in me as an artist, as a person, um, you know, I don't know, and it's not really for me to, to care too much. I just want to offer something of value, you know what I mean? It's just like, I feel like I kind of have an uh, elusive and a allure around my artist persona or my artist uh, alias, you know? It's like, I, I'm i not really the best at posting consistently, and my marketing isn't on key, but you know, I'm self-taught up until this point. I have a high school diploma. That's about as far as my education goes, you know, outside of the University of YouTube. Nonetheless, I, I'm going to wrap it up there. You know, uh, I will see y'all later tonight. 
when I film the second half. That also reminds me, I didn't even mention what today is about. Uh, partly because I got the lesson yesterday and I didn't want to I didn't want to watch it because I hadn't read the lesson therefore I've gotten lesson two videos sent to me and I only get them each day so that's another reason why the 60-day thing makes the most sense when it comes to today of course I'm going to do the lesson watch the video and then tomorrow I'll watch video two and it'll be similar to how these videos are released. Today is actually not about the lesson for me. I'm going to do it. I have no choice but to do it. And if I don't, I'm gonna, filming this would have been pointless. So I've already have like a level of accountability with this being filmed. And in my mind, I know I filmed it and I have to go on with the lesson. Nonetheless though, um, it's not about the lesson today today is more about meeting a deadline in which I procrastinated on um, I've done work for it I just didn't do enough to set me up for my deadline tomorrow and allowing me ample time so today February 9th is crunch time I gotta bust out two digital illustrations I will be turning this into this it's just about meeting this deadline that I have tomorrow and I don't have to have it done tonight that's the goal but I can and will have it done before I begin filming tomorrow morning so tonight um, it's just you know I'm gonna be doing some editing I'm gonna be working on those illustrations primarily today I also have a charcoal drawing on my commission list and a logo and those will probably all get busts out Minus the charcoal, that might take a little longer. I am plan to have a few projects to show in this first week in this video series. Yeah, you know, I, I'm i actually really pleased with how far I've come just in this sitting. I'm coming up on 16 minutes. So you're just like, you know, if you fucking sit in front of a camera and record for 16 minutes, at some point, the the jitters and the, and the stage fright, whatever you want to call it, uh, will wear off and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that so idealistically when I come into tonight it's gonna be a nice transition I'll be able to finish it up shoot a quick conclusion and sum up my day and, and let you know where I'm at on my progress um, with the video first and foremost along with my commissions so uh, you know stay tuned for the next episode day two in this 60 day series it's uh I'm pretty excited I really am I'm really excited yeah other than that I'm not really sure what to say other than soft one out what's good y'all I'm back with the conclusion for day one it's actually the 11th February 11th uh, day one did not go as planned I ended up taking a nap which was not productive day one did not go as planned Essentially, I ended up taking a nap and procrastinating as usual. I actually didn't get the commissions emailed out to the client until about 1 a.m. on the 11th. And I have to film this late. So I'll actually be dropping two videos um, on what would be day two. Oh, I apologize for the length of this video. Idealistically, down the road, they'll get a lot shorter or be just various lengths depending upon the day, how it went. It's more of just, for me, it's more about committing to the challenge of creating content for 60 days straight. On day three, we'll be back on track. <laughs> that works. Yo, fucking uh, catch me on day two. We're about to make that video right now. My whole channel is act. And essentially this video is just, you know, these, these, fuck.